so many car machines everywhere. It's for this one? Uh, no, I don't really want that one. Oh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. Oh, it's so <laughs> oh, my I like the pouches though. Look how many machines there are. It's out on the street. Step foot into Ximangding, Taipei, and you could be forgiven for thinking that you teleported to Japan. That's why people call Ximing officially the Ximingding Youth Traffic District, the Shenzhuku of Taipei. Ximing is without a doubt Taipei's coolest neighborhood. I love it. Everything here looks so hip and cool. Japan's are two parlors, so many food options. Oh, we gotta go on these food options. <gasps> I see. So many hip local stores as well. So this yummy rice vermicelli is an extremely tasty snack in Taipei. Super famous location is right here. Ooh, it looks so thick. Ooh, yes, pull it out, Hussie, pull it out. Ooh. So there's no seats or table at this outlet, and then we just have to eat it with a spoon. Yep, just standing up, just like how the locals do. Look at all that. Bite in. Yum, 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 yum. And so you can see the thick gravy with soft chewy pig intestine. That's the good good. <laughs> this is called the classic Mian Xiang noodles, which is the Misua in Taiwanese, and it's a classic Taiwanese street food. Good. It's coming matcha version. Big cock pineapple cake. It looks so delicious. This is the matcha one I really like. Love chocolate as well. Vanilla. I mean, on one. Ooh, strawberry too. It's so yummy. Oh my god, it's two floors of a claw machine. This place is what my dreams are made of. So many toys all around me. I love it. To be real, I'm looking for a machine that has car capture, Sakura, or Sailor Moon toys because that is what I'm all about. Those magical girls. This is so cute too. Wait, he's holding a ping pong. For the first time ever, we are going to try hot bubble tea. So bubble tea actually comes from Taiwan, as you already know. But we actually finally have bubble tea in Taiwan itself. Look at this. Okay, so here, it actually feels so warm and nice. It gets my face. Okay, I'm going to pop it. Oh, oh shoot. Oh, there we go. There we go. Shake it. Oh shoot, I did forget to shake it. Don't look at my shape. Oh my 
Yeah, look at that. It's Taiwanese snail. Yeah. Look at a giant pingu. This is everything that I want right here. Everything, just sappy, this kiro chan. Oh my god, everything. Oh my god, love me. Growing up, I was obsessed with anime. So this store animates of different animes, different manga. I'm gonna check it out because this is like a childhood dream come true right now. Taipei, you treat me so well. Here we go, here we go. It's huge! Oh my god, found it. Look, this is my favorite series ever. Car Capture Sakura. But it's all in Chinese, unfortunately. Actually, I have... No, I don't have this one. It's actually really new released. I'll get it anyways in English. This is my other favorite series from the same author. So huge here, I can get keychains. So many different memorabilia here. I'm geeking out, guys. I'm just geeking out. BRB. So this machine has really cute chin chins and his bathrobes. And then, you know this, but underneath his bathrobes, it's a little Pikachu. Surprise! So cute! We just walked from our accommodation down our street from Zing Mingning and in our neighborhood we found this little local traditional eatery of... Uh, first we got a few dishes, okay? So one of the dishes is Taiwanese braised pork rice. Look at this! Goodness, with some mushrooms in there, some onions in there, and this is a classic Taiwanese dish. We got a few classic Taiwanese dish to try out, like the braised pork and some greens, and an uh, interesting noodle dish called eel's noodle. Such a nice, savory, a little, a little bit of sweetness from the pork fat and taste in it, with the chunks of the mushrooms. Ah, oh, this is what I wanted. These are the eel noodles, but they're named after kind of more of the noodle strings itself. We're gonna mix it all up there. Woo, energy in this neighborhood is literally electrifying. I am totally smitten by this neighborhood. This is probably my favorite area in all of Taipei. I'm just wandering around here, getting lost, seeing what's there to have a fight, seeing all the lights. All the lights. I'm telling you, this street is all black. I'm here in the Red House, which was constructed in 1901 by a Japanese architect in Taipei. And this was the first ever government public market in Taiwan. And it's a historical building today with a center 
for creative boutique markets. Look at all these cute locally made artwork by local designers. Everything here from earrings to different jewelry to the arts and craft and then there's a whole workshop here as well. I'm actually so in love with this space because the designers here are so friendly. You go up into a little boutique and everyone just starts to talk to you and starts to explain you their story and their artwork which I really really appreciate as a creative myself too. And there's just so many cool knickknacks. I just wanna, I need a bigger suitcase. I just wanna carry everything back home. Even inside, how gorgeous is this? Ah, oh, it's so beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they're from, uh, this pattern yeah. from Taiwan traditional house. Ah. Uh, years ago, uh, yeah. rich family used these beautiful tiles to decorate their house. Oh my gosh, are they in the peacock one? It's so gorgeous. Yeah. The details in these tiles. Uh, they have 100 years old. So all these tiles are 100 years old? Yeah, original. Wow. Ooh, we touching! Have a, <laughs> we have a museum! Oh, so <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we explored inside the Red House, but the Red House itself, if you didn't know, Taiwan is the first country in Asia to have legalized gay marriage. And the Red House right here is the heart and soul that beats in the middle of the queer community in Taipei itself. So we're going to explore. This is kind of considered the LGBTQ neighborhood. And so we really want to explore and see what they have. But we're here during the day, so the clubs are not open, of course. But let's see, there's a, ooh, a gay-friendly sex shop right here. Gay-friendly hair salon. Business. Ooh, what's this? Is this an underwear store over here? It's under a store, but it's closed right now. Ooh, what did you get there? Taro donut. A taro donut? A taro what? donut. Yeah, I love taro. <gasps> Whoa, that looks so good. How fluffy on the outside. The purple greenness. They even have a bubble tea shaking machine. Look at how crazy shaking that is. Don't stare too long or you'll get a headache. <laughs> this perfect invent this is what I call innovation. Accommodation is literally right beside Cinema Park. It's not a park. It's just such a cool area where the skaters boys come and hang out and then where there's all these artworks all along everywhere in the park. This is such a cool neighborhood to explore. So it, even all the artworks and the graffitis in the street are just expands beyond Cinema Park too and into the different alleyways and lanes here. I believe this is our accommodation neighborhood that we're staying in. It's just so sick. And when we checked in, we checked in at night, so we didn't really see anything except for the cool neon lights. But now during the day, it's like a whole nother feast for the visual aesthetics.
Let's grab some night market food. We're at the night market of Rahoi Street Night Market with this beautiful entrance gate. And we're ready to chow down. The issue is when you're so hungry but you don't know where to start because everything looks so good. Like where do I, how do I choose, how do I select because I need more, I'm probably going to purge myself so I can have more stomach room afterwards. We're at the Michelin recommended mochi baby, look at this, it's like a glutinous rice ball, just how is it? Oh, that's a look of in love. So look at this cute cutie pie here. Mm. So peanutty. I love it. Mm. I love the chewiness. I know I shouldn't talk with my mouth full, but it's so great. Ah, oh, yum, 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 yum. It's like a nice, like, well, Vietnamese cake called bun, but. You know the taste of mochi and how glutinous and like just pudgy it is. Mm. This is why we want it. Yeah, there, I see. Lambao. Lambao. That looks good. Soy sauce. This street literally keeps on going and going and going. And look at these beautiful lanterns above me. And then just food after food after food to my side. Thank you. Got some fish balls. Can't resist these with some curry powder on top too. <laughs> Oh, it's my shoe. Look at this tiny, tiny alley restaurant that is Michelin recommended. Ooh. Oh, yes. Right, don't get home for their infamous oyster vermicelli. The broth is so textured with the flavors of the oyster, it's incredible. And the huge chunks of oysters that you get in here, ooh, they Taste of the sea. Mm -mm -mm. Everyone is here for their fix of Rauki's night market fame black pepper buns. They're golden, crisp buns baked on the side of drum like brick ovens. Fired by charcoal, which imparts a smoky quality that complements the juicy black pepper sauce, pork filling, and spring onion. So worth the wait. Oh my god, look inside. This is all pork. This giant loaf of pork inside. There's some chives, onions up in there. Look how tempting this is. It's halfway through. Oh god. My heart is beating. Hey, let me look on the other side. Four, three, two, one. Oh my god. 
<laughs> oh my god! He is doing some gymnastics right now! <laughs> oh.